Welcome to another 5-Minute Filament Review. This week we are reviewing Steel-Filled Metal Composite PLA by Protopasta. Yet another MakerBox sample. Okay, so I printed out four different models here. I printed out a yet another filament sample keycard edition, a XYZ calibration cube, Sir Layers a Lot in 60%, and a Chameleon by Elsamen. So we will go through each of these models uh, one by one. Uh, first, let's say a little bit about the filament. So this filament has a high percentage of steel particles in it. Models have a noticeable weight to them. If I were to put them on the scale, let's take a look and see what a typical model weighs. We have about 53 grams for this guy. Here's another model. This is Polyalchemy Standard uh, PLA. He's about 30 grams. So. 53 compared to 30, these models, uh, they printed with about the same amount of material, but the metal one is certainly more dense, and it feels like it too. It, if you were to throw this at somebody, I think you could hurt them with it. Now the instructions recommended using a 0.6 millimeter nozzle, and I would always recommend you follow the instructions, though I personally did not. I used my 0.4 millimeter E3D Nozzle X that I use for the majority of my printing, and I had no problems with jams or any other issues. So for me, it worked out pretty good with the 0 0.4, uh, though the E3D nozzle does have some non-stick coating and that may or may not have helped. Anyway, let's close up a little bit and take a look at these models. So here is the yet another filament sample keycard edition. It printed fairly well, though there is a little issue here in one corner where one corner kind of kind of pulled up there. Um, I don't know if we just had a bed adhesion problem or exactly what went wrong there, but a little little bit of a goof on one corner. You can also see if you look out closely there are a couple little dropouts where a single, like right there's one of them, where a single line on the bed dropped out. I don't know what happened. Um, as I mentioned I was printing this without using the recommended uh, nozzle size, so maybe we did hit like a microscopic uh, clog there as we were laying down those few spots. I'm not really sure. Um, it bridged just fine over the bridging spot. It printed the angle just fine. Surface texture looks good. You can see it's fairly opaque. I mean, you can't see through this at all. It printed out this uh, sample pretty good, and like I say, it has some heft to it. Here we have a calibration cube. Calibration cube looks good. Uh, crisp lines on the uh, Y and the X. Um, I must say the this um, filament with its steel fill it really does kind of do a good job of hiding the layer lines. I'm pretty pretty happy with that. We have our sur layers a lot. I print these at 60% to conserve on the amount of filament. It did good. Uh, you can see there's you know some slant here on the sword, a little bit of overhang on the arm. Those are the parts I usually look out at, and it did did just fine on those. Um, the details on the cloak, very readable. Here on the shield, very readable, no problems. Looking at the bottom, bottom looks pretty good. A couple little tiny dropouts just along an edge. Again, maybe the same problem as I had with that filament sample, not sure. And then we have this Chameleon by Alciman. I really like Alciman's models. I use them in a lot of my filament reviews. Um, it's super smooth down here. I mean, that just really held the layer lines along the bottom. I don't know how well that's showing up on the camera, but it just it looks smooth. It has a cast metal heft to it. Um, bottom is a little bit ugly here. Again, we're, I'm having some kind of an issue with these just little dropouts down there on the um, on the build plate. Uh, didn't really hurt anything, though it's a little bit uh, something for me to look into. I can see a couple, couple little, um, couple little strings in there along the very bottom. Not bad. Just a super clean print on this model. Now I did previously review Protopasta's Iron Fill, and you can see here I have a Niffler, um, also by Al um, and he looks, he looks a lot like. Uh, the chameleon. Maybe a little bit darker in color. The main difference between the two is a magnet will stick to the iron, but it will not stick to the steel. So if you want something that magnets will stick to, go with your iron. 
want something that Magnus will not stick to, go with your steel. And then it also, like I said, it just comes down to color a little bit. So would I buy this filament? I would absolutely buy this um, if I had something that I needed to print in a metal fill. Uh, it printed beautifully on my Prusa i3 Mark III. Uh, the problem with this filament is the price. It is pretty expensive. So I think the price of this is about $43 to $45 on Amazon. And because it is a metal fill, it is more dense, you will get less yield out of it. So not only are you paying almost twice as much, but you're going half as far with what you do get. So keep that in mind if you want to buy this filament. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this sort of thing interests you, then please subscribe and I will make more of them. Thank you.